I'm William Holtz. And I'm Ashley Kyle, and this is your Lake of the Ozarks News Update, brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com, and sponsored by Yacht Club Power Sports and Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravoy Mills. Today we'll be talking about a very lucky horse who had a bad start to his day, but was then saved by a St. Louis Cardinals star. A Lake Ozark Resort gets new owners and a new outlook. And a few cruises around the lake result in big donations for the Dogwood Animal Shelter. Plus, we'll look at events coming to the lake this weekend. That's after a message from our friends at Yacht Club Power Sports. Yacht Club Power Sports has expanded to ensure you have fun on both land and water, on the trails and on the road with Can-Am, Kawasaki, Victory Motorcycles, Arctic Cat, and Polaris, which introduces the 2015 Slingshot on the water as the world's number one Sea-Doo dealer and are proud to introduce the Supra and Moomba boat lines to the YC Power Sports family. Look for our new showroom this summer off Formula Way in Osage Beach, and you can find us off Highway 63 in Columbia. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. So you know how we said it was a St. Louis Cardinal star that saved the horse? Matt Holliday. But not the Cardinal star Matt Holliday, rather firefighter Matt Holliday. A passerby and firefighters worked together to save a horse that fell through the ice last week. The Gravois Fire Protection District received a call on January 22nd from a passing driver who saw a horse fall through the ice in a pond. That horse, named Charlie, was up to his neck in water and could not get out. Luckily. Firefighter Matt Holliday was able to hang from a tree at the edge of the pond and grab the horse by the halter. With Holliday urging him on, Charlie was able to walk out of the pond and get to the barn where he was wrapped in warm blankets. His owners were in their home and were unaware of the emergency. This was the third large animal rescue for the district in the last month. So yes, Matt Holliday swung from a tree and saved a horse who fell through the ice and was facing death. Some Matt Holliday's hit home runs, some save horses. As good as that is, Ashley, you just can't make these things up. That's right, William, you certainly can't. In other news, one of the newest Lake Area Resorts is headed into summer under new ownership. That's right, Camden on the Lake Resort Spa and Yacht Club officially announced last week it was sold to Camden Resort LP, a group of private investors. The group got a huge deal on the property, which Valley View Bank sold for $14 million. In 2010, Valley View Bank bought the property for $25 million. That's quite a steal when you figure it's $11 million less than it sold for nearly six years ago. The new owners say lodge one Resorts will manage the day-to-day -day operations, while the group will focus on creating extraordinary experiences for their guests and maximizing investment values for condo owners. The year-long project known as Destination Camdenton is ready to take a big step forward. Last week at a public meeting, officials unveiled the full plan that includes a recommendation for a community center, as well as goals to create more attractive housing options for all ages in the community. Mayor McNabb says the plan has already proved it already proved useful when it helped the board select and purchase land located at Ballpark Road and North Business Highway 5, which will be used as a multi-use community building. Stakeholders and community members are invited to comment on the plan until February 12th. Community input will then be incorporated into the draft before it goes to Camdenton's Planning and Zoning Commission. The commission will hold a public hearing on March 8th about the plan. An Illinois man drowned in the Lake of the Ozarks last week when his fishing boat sank near the 18 and a half mile marker. An eyewitness said 48 year old Rick Steffi of Homer, Illinois was swimming in the water just before noon on January 29th as his boat sank nearby. But before anyone could get to Steffi, he drowned. His body was recovered that night at approximately 615 and his boat was pulled from the water two days later. Authorities have not released any suspected cause of the boat sinking. State Representative Diane Franklin has filed a bill to shed light on Planned Parenthood's abortion procedures in Missouri, also to protect whistleblowers who work in facilities that perform abortions. Disturbing undercover videos that were released last year brought a lot of attention to Planned Parenthood, and while the organization denied any wrongdoing, representatives from Planned Parenthood centers around the state refused to testify before lawmakers, leaving a lot of questions up in the air. As a result, Representatives Diane Franklin and Andrew Koning have outlined steps to clear up gray areas in the state's abortion laws. Franklin has filed four abortion bills since the release of the videos and has at least two more bills related to family planning in the works. Deck the Docks is a Christmas tradition at the lake that helps support the Dogwood Animal Shelter. Between Thanksgiving weekend and New Year's Eve, folks boarded the celebration and cruised the lake to look at beautifully decorated homes and docks. The Savannah Grill donated appetizers. Dale Blue and Rick Bryant entertained the passengers, while celebration cruises and benefactors donated their resources to make the fundraiser possible. Together, they nearly raised $30,000 for the Dogwood Animal Shelter. A Springfield man is facing charges in Camden County after authorities say he chased a family member with a kitchen knife. 
According to the Camden County Sheriff's Office, deputies were called to a home in Roach after witnesses saw 30-year-old John Minks, who was intoxicated, grab a kitchen knife and chase a family member into the woods. Officers searched the woods and found the family member who suspected Minks had passed out in the woods. Deputies were able to locate him and took him into custody. Minks is charged with unlawful use of a weapon and domestic assault and is being held without bond. In January, the Sunrise Beach Fire Protection District began offering an online process for getting burning permits. Previously, residents had to call a phone number with a pre-recorded message about the day's burn conditions and leave their location and contact information if they were going to burn. It was often time consuming for fire officials to keep up to date with this old system. The new system could decrease the number of unnecessary fire runs because when a permit is issued, the on-duty personnel will get an email directly to their iPads, which will help them make deployment decisions. The Camdenton VFW is adapting to a new generation while still embracing time-honored traditions. In December, the location celebrated 50 years of being a Veterans of Foreign War post. Three years ago, New Blood came into the group when Lance Kellogg and Ross Reinhardt joined the post and together they began a movement to build a stronger future. Kellogg, a Vietnam veteran, was elected post commander and embraced putting young veterans in leadership roles. He challenged young veterans to make the Camdenton VFW the example to other posts and how to evolve, serve, and prosper. Last summer, the post adapted the slogan, not just your grandpa's VFW. Now, the number of active members is growing and meetings typically represent veterans from all wars between World War II and Afghanistan. Nice work, Ross and Lance also. This VFW is going above and beyond for our local veterans and should certainly be commended. Now coming up, we take a look at some of the events at the lake this weekend that you won't want to miss. That's after a word from our friends at Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravoy Mills. Want a dock that'll withstand the wakes from a million boats? You want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want a custom-built dock from Ozarks Barge and Dock in Gravoy Mills. Ozarks Barge and Dock has been consistently voted best dock builder at the Lake of the Ozarks, and we guarantee every dock we build. Ozarks Barge and Dock, we built the strongest docks on the lake. Unity at the Lake begins its first Friday concerts this weekend. This Friday's concert starts at 7 p.m. and features Grammy Award winning singer David Adams. The event is free, but the church suggests a $15 donation per adult and $5 for each child. If you are in the mood for a 1930s era gangster reenactment filled with swingers, flappers, tappers, and plenty of burlesque, Head over to H Toads for the Gangsters Ball. Shows are on Friday and Saturday night at 8 p.m. Tickets are $20 in advance and $25 at the door if there are seats left. The young professionals at the lake are hosting their annual dodgeball tournament this Saturday. The event is open to the public and it starts at 9 a.m. at Osage Middle School. A portion of the proceeds will be donated to the Kiwanis Club of Ozark Coast. This has been your Lake of the Ozarks news update. Thanks for watching us on Kumo Connect Channel 90 and watch anytime on MyLakeTV.com. Don't forget to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and now on Instagram at handle my underscore Lake TV. For Ashley Kyle and the entire news team here at Lake TV, I'm William Holtz, and we'll see you next time. In the meantime, stay classy, Lake of the Ozarks.